What's going on everyone? MTG Hensley here and today I'm just going to be showing you uh, the progress I've made on building Modern Infect. Uh, you can probably tell there by the uh, blighted agent that we're talking about Infect or you know you probably just were able to tell by maybe the title of the video, maybe the thumbnail. Anyway, uh, let's let's start taking a look at the deck. So we got four blighted agents, right? Now blighted agent is a 1-1 one, one unblockable infect for a blue in any color. Okay, so that unblockable is huge. Um, and then we got a playset of Glistener Elves, just a one drop, a one one in bet. Right? You want to get these out early. Okay? Uh, then we got Become Immenses. Uh, they got Delve, and they can buff our infect creatures plus six, plus six. It's usually just the right amount. Um, then we have Scale Up, it's a new card from Modern Horizons. It'll take one of our Infect guys and turn him into a 6-4. It's over half the Infect damage you need. Alright, next card, Might of Old Crossa. Is it Crossa or Crossa? How do you guys say it? Uh, but it's a one drop. Target creature gets 2-2 two, two until the end of the turn. If you play the spell during your main phase, it'll get plus 4, plus 4 instead really nice card it's a one drop right so we're running a play set of those um, we're also running a play set of vines of vastwood all right and that is target creature can't be the target of spells or abilities your opponents control this turn if it was kicked that creature gets plus four plus four until the end of the turn and the kicker's one green so another big buff spell there. Speaking of buff swells, we all <laughs> buff spells. We got a buff swell here with ground swell uh, running a play set of those. We might cut them down to two or three, but target creature gets plus two, plus two until the end of the turn. It has landfall. That if you had a land enter the battlefield under your control this turn, that creature gets plus four, plus four instead. So we're going to be playing lands. You know, we want to make them useful. That's where Groundswell comes in. I would even hold a Groundswell in my hand if I didn't have a land to get that plus four, plus four, potentially. Um, if we had another buff spell, obviously prioritize that, unless it's something like Blossoming Defense, which we are running a play set of those. I don't think that'll change. Um, this just gives target creature plus two, plus two, and hexproof. You know, we don't want them taking out our, our uh, infect creatures, obviously. Uh, then we got Mutagenic Growths. A play set of those because they don't really cost us anything to life that's fine we're trying to win quick with this deck um, we also have twisted image uh, switch target creatures power and toughness until the end of the turn and draw a card so it replaces itself and can save us some damage potentially uh, we also have distortion strike target creature gets plus one plus zero until the end of the turn and is unblockable right for that turn uh it, it's only a one cost one blue and it has rebound and rebound is if you cast this spell from your hand exile it as it resolves at the beginning of your next upkeep you may cast this card from exile without paying its mana cost so they kind of give you two turns of unblockable there which is really good for our glistening elves or any of our infect creatures there. Uh, we don't have many creatures though, really. Right now we only have the glistener elves and the blighted agents. We do need a play set of noble high arc still. Um, I'll be looking for those in the future. I don't think they'll get, uh, I don't think they'll get banned. 
rest in peace Paradox Engine. But anyway, um, we have two Pendle Havens, uh, just good for buffing our infect creatures, right? Um, now, the mana base, I know it can be better. I need the fetch lands, uh, specifically the green fetch lands. I need breeding pools still, um, but I'm playing with what I got here. So, a Thornwood Falls um, gives you one life, enters tap. The entering tap is not good, right? We, we actually don't even want this. You know, it needs to be replaced with a breeding pool, a fetch land, uh, something like that. Um, we do have botanical sanctums here, which are pretty decent, you know. Um, we need one more for the play set. I probably will run these um, in the main board, like when we finish the deck. I'll probably run four Misty Rainforest or Windswept Heats work too. Um, for Botanical Sanctum for Breeding Pool. Um, but right now, this is what we're working with, guys. Um, then we got three Simic Growth Chambers. Again, it's sort of Mana Ramp, so these could be all right, um, but it coming into play tapped is what really hurts us. Um, then we have, you know, just some forests. So that's where I'm at so far, like I said, the mana base needs work, and, oh yeah, um, we do need Ink Moth Nexuses, um, I'm getting two of them soonish, um, this whole Paradox Engine thing might not end up being so bad for me. Uh, there's a breeding pool, unfortunately it is a proxy, so we're not using that in our deck. Uh, but Rancor here, you could use a card like Rancor. Um, this could actually be really good. And it's foil. Look look how cool that looks. We might sneak one Rancor in the deck. Um, you have stuff like Six Cents. It could give you a card draw. That's a potential one. Um, then we were running Giant Growths, but I think we're past those. But yeah, we are getting some Ink Moth Nexuses. Um, we should have those, you know, I don't know. Uh, pretty soon. They're they're in the works, I guess is the best way to put it. But anyways, guys, I don't want to make this video too long. Um, that is the deck, right? It's pretty simple. You got infect creatures. You want them to get through a couple times, and you want to buff them. You only need to deal 10 damage. How quick can you deal that damage, right? But that's the deck. As of right now, I think it's July 10th, I want to say. Um, but that's the deck for now. I'll post another video when it's uh, updated and we've made some improvements to the deck. Let me know in the comments um, any suggestions you guys have. I know the Sagarda's Aid and the um, new hammer combo, the hammer from M20. So I'm aware of that combo, and I'm thinking about it. Let me know. Have you guys tried that out now that M20 is out? Let me know in the comments. Uh, if you guys are still watching, I appreciate it. Just go ahead, smash the like button, hit subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. I appreciate it. Peace.